The royal wedding has occurred and I thought Kate looked sensational. I just thought she looked classic and um, absolutely beautiful and she looked like her. She didn't seem to be um, straying too far from her true self, so I admire that. And of course, I think we've all read that um, she allegedly did her own makeup, as she did for her engagement shoot. And if that's true, she did a bang up job. I thought she did a really, really good job. So let's try to recreate it. Armani, number five, foundation. She actually looked like she might have had a little bit of a tan, possibly not, but she did look like she had a nice, healthy glow. And I do not. So we're gonna go for the, uh, the more peaches and cream British skin today. All right, so before I move on to eyes, I'm actually just gonna give myself a little bit of bronzer. Um, this is Laguna by NARS. I have it loose. Don't ask me how I got this. I think someone gave it to me. Um, okay, what am I using? I'm using 130, I think. It's this little pointed guy. And this is great for giving yourself a little bit of definition in your cheek. Kate um, seemed to have dropped a few pounds right before this wedding, as most brides tend to do with the stress. So I had to give myself a little bit of cheekbone. All right, she had gorgeous, strong, sculpted brows. So taking the Anastasia dark brown little brow duo and the matching brush, I'll go ahead and do that. Using Painterly, the paint pot from MAC, and Painterly. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use my fingertip. And I'm just gonna give a little bit of base to my lid. She seemed to have the same color palette as her engagement picture, which looked, um, on her eyes, looked very cool grayish purpley so um, I'm gonna use this I think it's called B-R-O-U-S-S-E I believe this little duo right here from NARS I'm gonna take the more purpley side and just she seemed to kind of like elongate it in the corner and just blend that in And then take, if I can find one, oops, the 217. Taking a push brush, this is an old one from um, oh, Damone Roberts, and her liner on the bottom, I will say, seemed pretty defined. So we're gonna do the same thing here, same color, but using a smaller, more intense, uh, more, you know, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Anyway, a brush like this <laughs> will give you a more intense line. Dipping the same brush, since we're going darker, and I'm gonna dip it into just a, any, any black will do, but I'm doing an ours black. And then taking a 239 and just blending it. I would say that if there's one thing I would have changed about her makeup, well, maybe there's two things I would change. One would have been that her, her liner was a little more blended, but, um, and I loved her cheek color, but I probably would have blended that a little bit more too. But you know, that's being very nitpicky. I think she did 
or whoever did it. If anyone did it, they did a great job, but if she did it herself, then she did a really, really good job. And taking Blanc Type from MAC. This stuff is really, really pigmented. I'm just gonna go right under the brow. Under the brow, and then a little bit on the inner corner. There's no shimmer in this color, so that's kind of nice. Some mascara. Let's stick some individuals on there for good measure. Some individual lashes. These are Andrea Perma Lash. Flare Short, which are the ones I use on pretty much everyone. If you have questions about how to put lashes on, I do have a tutorial that I did a while ago about how to apply individual lashes. So I'm gonna kinda just um, breeze on through this and if you want some more instructions you can check that out so lips and cheeks were this really beautiful bridal pink so I'm gonna go ahead and do max dolly mix Let's see it right here using actually it's a uh, face blender from Bobbi Brown that's really for blush and bronzer but I love this brush for a tiny bit of glow on top I'm gonna to do NARS Riviera multiple stick which you can see it's uh, kind of like a peachy pink and you know I just love layering powders and creams I think it makes it last longer I do this on pretty much every bride not this exact color but layering textures let's do a little bit of concealer underneath this is um, NC15 actually, Studio Finish Concealer from MAC. I'm just using a little Louise Young brush just to make sure I'm a little green <laughs> on the inner corner of my eye, which happens. Not really dark right there, I just get this weird kind of greeny color, which is common. little around the nose for good measure lipstick is Mitzi from NARS And for gloss, I'm going to do Risky Business. I think her lipstick was a little pinker than Risky Business's, but let's see here. This is still in the same family. And certainly a pretty option. Okay, I... I hate myself with my hair half back. I always have since I was little. I've never, I never ever wear it half back, but Kate did. <laughs> so here it is. Here's a Kate Middleton or Catherine, as she is now being referred to, makeup day tutorial. I hope you enjoy it and I will see you guys again soon. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and um, have a great day. Bye.